Okay, that run didn't count. We're just... We, we've woken up and everything's just brand new again. Dottedly onward like a prospector to gold. I can't wait till we use this film. What is that? Try to stay focused. Alright, that's our starting deck. It's the usual. And he's kind enough to give us a new card. Turkey Vulture, Bloodhound, or the Coyote. Um, like in the Bloodhound. Pack Rat or Sacrifice. Let's take a Pack Rat. I won't allow you to take more items. In their stead, take this. A pack rat. Always oh, useful. I know Nima Cat Bork. Indeed. I borked that so hard. Here's a fight. And two sparrows. You know what? We'll drop a squirrel. And we'll just leave it. These guys can come down. I'm not worried because the Grand Fur is going to block the Sparrow for a couple of couple of turns. And then we'll play the Bloodhound. Who just murders that Sparrow. Alright, we'll take another Squirrel. Okay, now the Grand Fur Flex. Alright, the Stoat. We'll drop the stoat here so you can eventually kill the sparrow. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll take a squirrel. All right, now he's almost down. So we'll drop a couple squirrels to just try and maximize, maximize the teeth. There we go. All right. Whoops. Free card. Let's see what we can get. A uh, hentai, a kingfisher, and a moose buck. Ooh. I think the hentai is probably the best. Because it looks like it's gonna it's gonna be splotchy, but the value is the number. Yeah, card counter. It's card counter. Number of cards in our hand is going to be his power. You can find the old wood carver fixture and tits gaze upon you after an overlong moment of silence. She moved off her carvings. All right, this is kind of what we want. We want the squirrel that gives three blood. That's that's going to be very useful to us. Okay, well now he's got elk that will guard everything. Oh, he's got okay. Well, that's fine. We'll squirrel and then we'll bloodhound. There we go. Okay, then we'll draw. Ooh. Alright, so. Hmm, I thought he was supposed to kind of attack us, but. Or defend that against that attack, so okay. So we'll draw, and then. Let's see, what's Hentai's life? One. We'll put Hentai over here. See, okay, he moves when you drop it. Okay. All right, so there goes Bloodhound, unfortunately. All right, let's put a squirrel. We'll drop stink bug. Drop squirrel. And we'll play bullfrog. And that way we kill these guys, even though he's a zero now. Both of these guys are dead. We'll draw a squirrel. 
Anyway, we got another teeth out of that. Another tooth, I should say. All right, hang on. What is our, another pronghorn and a squirrel. I'm gonna get this one day. A deer that costs two, two sacrifice, okay. an elk and lizard a wolf and lizard or an insect we'll take the wolf that's a coyote I mean that's not a big deal now we'll do the campfire the crackling fire lit the starving face of a group of survivors we have not food one said but perhaps one of your creatures will join us enhance its health said another <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down mm, hentai has one health though I don't want to do Anti. But Bullfrog, we're gonna need Bullfrog to defend against flyers. So let's put Bullfrog down. Let's see, keep it right there, said this one survivor. The creature can become more powerful, but the survivors looked hungrier by the second. Push your luck or pull away. We'll pull away. The fire warmed the weary Bullfrog and enhanced its health. You suspected the attention survivors were less than pure. With your Bullfrog in tow, you retreated to the woods. So the, we'll have the Bullfrog for, some, for the flyers. And it should be, we should be able to have better economy now that our squirrels are worth three. <laughs> yeah, you again. You don't like, all right. See, here we go. If we had the, if we had the bullfrog, we'd be able to do it, do something about this, but we don't. But we have squirrel. You know, we'll, we'll grab this squirrel. We'll do pack rat. They're going to just flower pack rat, but it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll do squirrel. We'll do the stoat. And then while we're here, we'll just do stink bug. So that's four damage. And these guys will just hit over. But we will be able to damage them. We'll take a squirrel. There we go. Sparrow, that, that's gonna hit me for three. That's not gonna be fun. What do we have here? The coyote, that's bones. See, unfortunately, bones aren't gonna, we don't, we don't have like a bonus for bones. Uh, here we go, the stunted wolf. I'll surrender. <sighs> no, I kind of want, no, I'm gonna be a dick. I kind of want those teeth. So we're gonna just hit him hard. He's gonna hit us back. And that should be a couple teeth, yep. But we don't have any pelts, so she's gonna she's gonna be mad at us. Have you brought me fine pelts? None? You have no pelts at all? Dot dot dot. So she gave us some teeth. Give these to m give these to the trapper. Bring me pelts. Bring what's it? Does the name start with M or something? Um, do we have anything to sacrifice? I don't know if we have anything to really want to sacrifice. So let's let's get another pack rat. All full, but. Here, we'll take the pack rat. Always useful. Alright. Oh, yep. He snuffs out a light on a boss fight. And the trees closed and tied around you. A hobbled figure stood in your path. G Gold! I can smell it! Squirrels are at three. Now what do we have? He starts off with the coyote who will come down. Hit the greater smoke, but the smoke will just plunk him back the next turn. So I'll we'll drop the greater smoke. Hmm. And we'll drop the hentai to do. We'll do some damage here. So the pack mule comes down, the coyote will hit our smoke, but then we should be able to 
kind of power through the hit. We'll take another squirrel. There we go. The mole gets in our way. We'll take another squirrel. He should hit and then hit through that and... Okay, well, you get the pack and he should hit... Mom, you curse you! And there you go, the Adler's down. The wolf will come down and, ooh, take care of our mole. But, ooh, we have, that thing's worth eight, da eight damage right now. Too bad it's gonna die this very next turn. All right, we'll take a card. And there we go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, we're gonna get hella teeth here. Hella teeth. Prospector boss again? I know, Stoat. I know. I wish we could just skip it, but there we go. We got. Oh, we don't get teeth on the first part. Oh, that's bullshit. There's gold in them, their cards. Alright. I struck gold. Um. You need one of your death cards, Adler. I know, Andy. You're just making fun of my. my it, Inability to, to speak. That hurts. Let's see, what's a big damage card? We don't have any big damage cards. I guess we'll drop the the bat? We'll drop the bat. We'll let we'll let the bloodhound come down and eat our gold nugget. Get him! Um What's he at? A 2-3? Uh, the bullfrog will be able to survive. Or so will a bloodhound. Alright, here we go. There's an adder. Take another squirrel. And there we go. Got one tooth out of that. I was really hoping to keep the tentacle monster around. Or that, that that you would get teeth on the first turn, but you didn't. Perhaps one of these will entice you. What are we getting? Child 13, the Amalgam, and the Pack Rat. Hmm. Another Pack Rat sounds nice. Okay, after the harrowing encounter with the Prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let me think. Okay. A hideous swarm of insects gathered around you. Rip reptiles slipped and slithered around your feet. You are now engulfed by the wetlands. Okay. Um, let's get a card, and then we'll power another one up. What do we have here? The uh, the underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. A porcupine and a kingfisher. Let's take the ringworm. And let's go to the fire. Ooh, attack. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Who do we want to beef up? Mm, you know, I want to beef up the bullfrog because I'm going to want to defend against some flyers and have them hit back. So there we go. Surely a creature can become more powerful. Which we need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your luck or pull away. We're gonna pull away. The fire warmed the weary bullfrog and enhanced its power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your bullfrog in tow, you retreat into the woods. Alright, let's see how our let's see how our new boy, our new our new healthy boy handles. Your squirrel, pack rat, yep. And the pack rat. Okay, a skink. Okay, we'll drop a squirrel and then we'll drop a pack rat. We already have three items, so we don't get the pack rat part. But that's fine. Ooh, and two adders. Ugh. We'll let them come down before we attack them. Alright, there's a squirrel. 
Another pack rat? Okay. So, with that we get rid of the skeek and its little tail. Alright, pull out a squirrel. Drop a stoat. Total misplay. Whatever. It's, it's just, we'll kill the adder. That's all that matters. Ooh, the rattler is going to kill our pack rat. That's for sure. Um, crap. We'll pull this. Hope it's a bone. Nope, it's not a bone. So we'll do three damage, and that's enough. He's down. All right, now we have plenty of teeth. Let's go. Let's go buy some pelts. Ye ever since that defeat, well, you don't want to hear it. Cheaper prices. Enjoy. Oof. To have a free one. All right, we'll take that golden pelt and that golden pelt and that golden pelt and that wolf pelt. Thank you. Much appreciated. All right, another fire. Who do we want to boost? The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We've not food, one said, but perhaps just one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. All right, we're going to drop the bullfrog again. Because I really want him to be able to stop flyers. Certainly a creature will be more powerful, but you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your luck or pull away. We're going to pull away. Health of the bullfrog was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, here we go. Another fight. A lucky draw. Yep. Okay, that that guy we're not we're gonna mess with because he's gonna duck every time. But we can mess with the sparrow. So we'll drop the squirrel. Drop the bullfrog. And in the turn, bullfrog hits for two. The sparrow tries to do something. The bullfrog blocks. Let's see, what is this? A bloodhound. Alright, there you go. Now this is going to be painful. Let's take a squirrel. Drop the squirrel. Get the bloodhound going. Alright, this will be... Oh, we should have put him there. Oh, but we can put the stink bug there. And now the bullfrog won't do anything, but the stink bug can poke at it. So that's four damage right there. All right. I'll take another one of these, the pack rat. We'll hit over everything. And now it's just enough to kill him. Or to defeat him, I should say. Free card, what do we got? River Snapper, a uh, bullfrog, or the pronghorn? Um, hmm. You know, we'll take another bullfrog. And maybe we can sacrifice him later. What do we need? Another. Oh, probably should take the pronghorn. Ah! Oh, well. I have a feeling that that's never going to happen. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, more attack. One more creature by the fire. Enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. Um, should we just keep boofing our bullfrog here? I don't see why that's not a bad idea. Or maybe our stink bug. No, we're gonna we're gonna beef up our bullfrog. We're just gonna mess him up. Boost the other bullfrog. Ah, oh, too late, Andy. Sorry. Consider leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. We'll pull away. So you have two decent flying defenders. As one far as being pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdrew. Let's see. Is there another? F okay, so there's another campfire coming up. I'm gonna take the campfire. I'm gonna boost my other flyer. My other anti-flyer there. Alright, we have a grand fur. Squirrel. Ooh, hentai. Um, couple bees. 
drop the squirrel and we'll drop the bloodhound. And the bloodhound should take care of the bee on our turn. So we'll grab another squirrel and we'll just. There we go. Ooh, the mantis is gonna hurt. But that's all right. We'll drop. We'll drop the pack rat. Okay, he should kill the bullfrog. The bee is gonna. Bloodhound's gonna defend. Oh, the bloodhound didn't defend. Forgot. Um. Okay, he's gonna kill the mantis. Bloodhound will kill the bee. Okay. Oh, and then all right, the bee. So the beehive just works for my in my favor every time. I like that. All right, what do we have here? Great draw. Actually, it is because now we can plop the stink bug here, and now the bee won't attack us. But we can drop this bee right here. Gain another bee. The bullfrog took a damage through that. Okay, the bloodhound's down. That's all right, because we'll just... Oop, my turn to draw. Take the squirrel. We'll just drop a bee here. I think those bees will just fight each other. Nope. Flyers just go over other flyers. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's see what we got. Another bullfrog, a rat king, and a worker ant. Uh, I'm going to take the bullfrog. And then we're gonna go here. Cracking fire lit the starving face group of survivors. We have not food, but perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its health. Let's see, we'll take, here you go, a bullfrog. Increase its health. Should your creature grow more powerful, but we need to risk another moment by the fire. Nope. We'll just take the bullfrog. Enhanced health. We're not too worried about its attack. We're just kind of we just kind of want it to defend against flyers while we figure out what to do All right greater smoke Because he snuffed a, one of our candles behold immense man slash band of mucky pond He appeared to be tearing husk of flesh from a fish corpse Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up and some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth I am the angler. You are the fish. All right. Fall the squirrel. Stunted wolf. All right. Another kingfisher. Hmm. So the problem is, we're not going to hit that thing back. So we're just gonna squirrel and drop a pack rat just to kind of get some damage out there. Um, hmm. Take a squirrel. We'll put the wolf pelt out so he takes the wolf pelt. Kingfisher will hit us, but then he takes the wolf pelt. What do we have here? Another pack rat. Alright, well. We'll drop the squirrel. We'll drop a pack rat. And then that should be enough for first you know, the first stage. Go fish. Okay, so we what we don't want here is we don't want the pack rats to hit the chump bait bucket because that'll just bring out some giant fucking sharks. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop squirrel, drop stunted wolf, and then we're gonna play this and make everyone fly for the turn. And then we're just gonna fly over, do the damage, and then just absolutely skip that, skip that pain of the ass phase. Your lives are restored. And now we have a free open item slot when we play our pack rats. Perhaps one of these will entice you. All right, what do we have here? The, the douse. 
that filthy feral hog comes incensed when its chimes are struck. What the hell? A bellus. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is assigned, defined as one power, one health. And he says he gets pissed off every time a bell is hit? A free 1-1 one, one gag. Let's try it and see how it goes. Shaken, but with the new found resolve, you move past the pond where the angler now lay. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly misplaced teeth. You could do it on through the snow line. All right. Um, oh, we'll go here and buy some cards. Let's see what I can offer you for those pelts. All right, our rabbit pelts. Um, it's not, we'll take the coarse maggots because when someone dies, the coarse maggots automatically played. A wolf pelt. Okay, this looks in, this looks promising. Porcupine with pack rat. A mantis that will automatically move and block. I don't like that because he has one health. A wolf that has ants. A wolf that likes ants. A rattler. Again, like I don't want rattler taking damage because he only has one health. Uh, field mice? What is this? When a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Oh. Wolf that spawns ants like the ant queen? Oh, it does. But the problem is, like, if I play the ant, it's literally just going to be a 1-1. One, one. The, the, the power of the ants is, is kind of strength in numbers. I don't have an ant queen. Uh, what was this? Rabbit hole. When a card bearing sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is zero power, one health. Yeah, uh, Jolly Andy. Yeah, not great here. Yeah, that's that's not a good combo. The best combo is probably the alpha. Unless we want to drop the mole and use the mole for sacrifices and save our be able to save our squirrels. Actually, that might be the better play, is to drop the mole and use the mole as sacrifices so we can save our squirrels. And that way we can also get a bigger hand for our hentai. And we'll take that. Credible Golden Pelts! Um, an Amalgam, I guess. An Amoeba and... I guess I'll take another pack rat. Like, those don't even seem very good. I'll make good use of these. Like, honestly, like, the wolf pelts felt much... Much better cards. Maybe I'll just... The next time around, I'll just buy wolf pelts. Alright, here we go. The campfire. Okay. Warm the, the warm light of campfire was welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. One more creature by the fire enhance its powers, said one. <laughs> Alright, so who do we want to be able to punch hard? Mm. Another bullfrog? We have a three six bullfrog, the pack rats, the bloodhound maybe? The amalgam? Probably you could probably do the amalgam. Jolly Andy, yeah, a gold pelt can get you a fish finisher like the Ureli, but the wolf pelts are the mid gay stuff you need most often. Yeah, like the golden pelts, they're, f I guess they're fun cards. Like the pack rats are nice so if you want to keep using items, but yeah, like I need more, like double sigil cards are great. Should I give it to the mole? Give it to the bullfrog? Here, we'll give our... Ooh, this bullfrog? A 4-6 bullfrog or a 2-4 bullfrog? Let's do a 2-4 bullfrog. Alright. 
Surely a creature can be more powerful, but you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your luck, pull it away. We're going to pull it away. The power of the bullfrog was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, so here we go. We're going to fight. Squirrel. Oh, what do we have here? Three elk fawns. Oh, that's not going to be fun. Um, let's drop a squirrel. Ooh. The mole doesn't attack, but we'll defend from an elk font. So we'll drop a mole for the squirrel. Or, or we'll drop a mole. And then we'll sacrifice the mole back on the board for the stoat. And then the mole will block. Which is not a bad I not a bad thing. Okay, so we'll drop a squirrel. Pack rat. The pack rat should kill. Ooh. Nice. Pack rat should kill the fawns. Okay, but that's the problem is that that elk is now big. Huh. What do we have here? The bullfrog. My 2-4 bullfrog. All right, well, we'll take the squirrel. We'll drop the squirrel. Get the bullfrog, because then the elk's gonna attack. Kill the, okay, pack rock's gonna kill the elk fawn. Stoat's gonna deal damage to the elk, but nothing will happen. Then the elk will move over, and then the bullfrog should take it care of it. So the elk fawn's down, the elk takes the damage. Stoat's down. Oh, shit. Ha! That's, nah, no bueno. Um, we'll, we'll take a squirrel, this'll be fine. Oh, that's fine. We've, we've won anyways. We won on that turn. Um, hmm. Do we want another card? Or do we want to... Do we want to risk a... A totem? Well, hang on. What do we have? What kind of sigils can we give away? The amoeba's bones. Is there anything that's free? Stunted wolf cost one. Because if we have a free card, which we do not, we could sacrifice the mole. Oh, but then again, like, he's just going to keep blocking. I don't know if I want to sacrifice. Here, let's get another card, and then we'll get a free item, because we have an item slot open. Oh, the grizz... Okay. The grizzly is finally going to be a card we can use. We'll get an item. What do we want? Frozen possum. Pliers to pull out a tooth. Or the squirrel. The squirrel is the most use useful out of those three at the moment. Let's go fight. Alright. Oh! Okay, so the amalgam is literally everything. So whatever the totem is, the amalgam will get. That's kind of cool. Ooh. The elk fawn. Drop a squirrel. Grizz is great with triple blood squirrels. Yeah. Now because now we can actually use We can actually use the grizzly. So here we'll drop that. Do three damage. The elk will come down and will hit us. And they're gonna shift probably. Oh that one didn't oh mother fucker. Um. All right. Shit. We'll pick up a squirrel. We'll drop the squirrel, and then we'll drop. We'll drop the hentai. The hentai should kill the elk fawn. And then we give it three damn. Oh, and we win. Okay. I was just kind of overthinking that. Ooh, a death card. We're gonna try for that death card. Okay, a bull, another bullfrog, an elk, or a moose buck. 
Ooh, I don't know if I like the shoving things over, but the moose buck is going to be pretty neat. And then this is the sacrifice. See, we have one, two, three, three pack rats, four pack rats. Should we just give up a pack rat? I think we'll just sacrifice a pack rat. All right, what do we got? What are you going to give me here? Oh, a phone. I'm that was a rare card. Shouldn't you give me something better? Yay, a bone to start for my pack rat. When I probably could have thrown something else crappy at it. Oh, oh, shit. This is going to be rough. Um, well, squirrel. Well, mole. Oh, the mole's gonna get fucked the first attack. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, stink bug. You're gonna have to take this to the face. Yeah, stink bug. Ah, stink bug's down. What are we getting here? The moose bu Oh! 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 I, hello there! There we go. Moose buck, baby! And then he moved! Why did you move? And you let my mole die, you little bastard! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well. Alright, we're we'll squirrel. We're we'll bullfrog. Okay, the bullfrog's gonna take care of the raven. The moose buck's gonna punk the mole. Bullfrog's gonna tickle the mole man. And we're gonna have to use our knife. Okay, so the mole does nothing. The bullfrog's gonna block the raven. Uh, we'll take the squirrel. Okay, now those guys are down. All right. Yes, the grizzly. Fuck you, elk. Fuck you and your dumb face. All right. Um, we'll take a squirrel, and we're just gonna mess this guy up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, I'm blind. I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. Yeah, let's. We did a normal eye next time, but let's do this. The fancy magic eye. Ugh. Find salvation. The choice is final. Um, yeah, let's get this death card. Who do we have? Lewis, Professor Bonkers, and Reginald. The, the obvious choice is Bonkers. The other two are kind of horrible. Actually, they're terrible. All right, um, what can we give? I've never used the amoeba. But that can, that can be random shit. <laughs> Jolly Andy, just spent $40 for 480 gems. I'm assuming that's as your lane so you can get those skins. Um, well, the corpse maggots, like, what is this creature owned perishes by combat? A card bearing the sigil is automatically played as place. So if we put corpse maggot on like the grizzly, 
like as soon as <laughs> of course as soon as something dies the grizzly will just get thrown out there I kind of like that idea all right here we go oh I spent my uh oh this man out of I spent all my on my pelt. You took in the familiar sights and the sense of trapper's pelts. Something was different. The once friendly now beheld you with a steely gaze. All right, I must be skidding you today. Oh crap. Um, a squirrel. Okay, so here, let's see what the douse does then. Puts two chimes out there. And we'll dump, we'll dump the greater smoke, because then the greater smoke will give us bones when it dies here. Okay, we got a wolf pelt. Oh! Whatever attacks, gets, oh, he gets angry at it, okay. They're just kind of there, though. Let's take the play the bloodhound over here. The douse is gonna die next turn. Let's take a squirrel. There you go, he's dead. And the Bloodhound is going to hit... Okay. Ah, it's the end of my turn. Okay, now he's flipped over to the trader. Let's trade. Oh, I hope you brought pelts, because these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out. Trade what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Um, hmm... Don't want to face that grizzly. Take the adder. And I'm not interested in a turkey vulture that can do two attacks very well. Um, let's see, we'll squirrel. Can we do turkey vulture? We can do turkey vulture. Um, we'll drop a squirrel. To put down our grizzly that stinks. We'll drop another squirrel to play the adder. And here we go. Tail feathers. Okay. Oh, we won! Oh, okay. It's not that bad if you can pick the right cards and... Like, get up and, and have a good strategy there. All right, now we get a nice nice new card. The uh, Amalgam, the Ouroboros, and the Ureoli. Ooh, 7-7 seven, seven for four blood. The Ouroboros for two and just keeps going back. We'll take the Ouroboros. Jolly Andy, I feel like a fucking whale with 6,529 gems sitting in my account right now. You get them, you get them as your lane skins, buddy. Mr. the Trapper and Trader occupied your thoughts as you wandered onwards. A light in the distance caught your eye. Let me think. Okay. How do I know what teeth? Oh, I can't see how much teeth we have. We have a lot of teeth. No, we, we need pelts. That's the problem, is we have a lot of teeth. But this is the pelt trader. Um, so do we want... Yeah, let's refill our items. Because is there anything we'd want to sacrifice here? Professor Bonkers has... The infinite... Sacrifice... Coyote's just kind of there. 
Is this the final boss coming up? I think so. You'll see. That's. I, I died to this guy in a really stupid way last time, and it pisses me off. We'll take the squirrel, and then we'll take another squirrel. Okay. The warm light of the cabin cut through the thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here. Okay. So last time I kind of stood here not knowing what to do, but actually you move forward like you do in the cabin. Oh. I forgot about that. Okay. A rare opportunity arose. The great boons of Leshy's woods were on offer. Okay. The Trail of the Fin. The three drawn cards was... No, the Waterborne Sigil. Fuck that. Trail of Skins. The three drawn cards must include a Pelt card. I don't know how many Pelts. Trial of Rarity. Three drawn cards must include a rare card. That's our best bet. Oh man, how'd I miss that the Prince Aldebert skin was Life 2D? I don't know, man. I bought that one. That was one of the... Nima Cat helped me pick that one. That was a great skin. Let the trial rarity begin. Amalgam... Is the Amalgam a rare card? Ah, Amalgam is a rare card. Success! So what do we get? Choice of boons. Boon of the board lord. Bone lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. Boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Boon of Goat's Blood. You will start the battle with a black goat on the board. Uh, eight bones or draw two cards. Mm. What do we have in our... Is there anything in our deck that costs a lot of bones, though? Turkey Volt. Oh, did we keep the cards from that fight, though? Because double attack, Turkey Vulture would have been great. But yeah, you know, let's just take double draw. Once again, Trial of the Swift, three drawn cards, must include a card with the Sprinter Sigil. Trial of the Wing, the three drawn cards, card with an Airborne Sigil. Trial of the Ring, if you have a ring, you pass automatically. Um, I think we, ha we have... We have... We have a card called the Ringworm. Does that count? The Trial of the Ring begin. Ah, our ring. okay. Success. Oh, okay, the Ringworm does count. You may choose one. Boon of the Forest. You start a battle with Grand Furs on all your spaces. I don't know if that's helpful. Start a battle with eight bones. Boon of the Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Hell yeah, just card deck search every time? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately I must soon put you to death. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay then, you're back. Sit. Is this the guy I've been playing the whole time? Okay, I have two. Sc oh, how I relish this moment. Ugh, I forgot about that. Um, greater smoke. Two flames will not suffice this time. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Alright, um. Okay, I get a bone. I get... Okay. The Amalgam has... Ah, oh, shit. Mole Man, Amalgam. Um... Put out the greater smoke here. And then we'll drop a squirrel and put our amalgam out like right now. 
And here we go. He's we'll mess up the we'll mess up the mole man. Get some bones. Take a squirrel. Oh, we could draw twice. That's right. And we can search for any card we want. Um. Frog down, he'll kill the amalgam. Alright, we'll take the bullfrog. There we go. So here we go. He hits hard. The amalgam. Okay, the amalgam's gonna take damage. Oh shit! What? Is he gonna do that every turn? He's gonna do all the boss's tricks. He's gonna do all the boss's tricks every every turn. And that's, oh, damn it. All right, let's put out the Ouroboros. Because the Ouroboros is gonna kill the Amalgam. And he's gonna just, he's not gonna just take that card, is he? He's gonna kill me right off the bat. Fuck, dude! Squirrel and whatever I can do here. We've got to do the grizzly. Squirrel, squirrel. Grizzly. There we go. Squirrel. To just so that he could just take the squirrel. Okay, take the squirrel. Big deal. Whatever. Um I'll take a squirrel and then we'll do another another draw. Um We'll do the pack rat so that we can get another item. Okay, we got a fan. Should be okay, here we go. All right, so that's candle one. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you and their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. What? I remember that one fondly. What? Um, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna draw Squirrel. We're gonna draw another card. Um, do you think I'm flying? Um, mm. Moose Buck. I'll play the Moose Buck. Okay. And we're gonna drop this here. We're gonna sacrifice him for the moose bug. And we're gonna just, we're gonna do flying. We're gonna give everyone flying. 
and we're just gonna like straight murder this guy okay so that's second candle down and now what is he gonna do this damned moon it's dramatic yes but it provides me no value to my board I wonder wait what wait excuse me now that is by uh what did he just drop the moon what the fuck Um, 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 uh, uh. Can we, can we take, are there any pulls you can make? Oh. Oh. There's nothing we can pull with that. Oh. Well, I, I guess we just fight the moon? LOL can't steal the moon. I I know. I I really wanted to. But I I can't I can't steal the moon. I'm actually a little little, little depressed about that. Okay, so we'll just I guess fight the moon. Okay. Sure. How many we got two squirrels in here? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm still, I'm still just like, okay, wow. Um, okay, it blocks flying. I'm, s okay, I'm glad the moon blocks flying and doesn't actually fly. Oh, actually, if we put her here, the moon is helpless then. If we have the stink bug, the moon is literally helpless. <laughs> What's this? This weakening my moon with the sticky sigil. It makes no sense. Moons do not have a sense of smell. This is not how I imagine this battle going. <laughs> okay, well, let's just let's just draw, I guess, and then we'll we'll pick the stoat. We'll have the stoat in our hand for this victory. Um you really destroyed the moon. <laughs> I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Dot, dot, dot. Go on. And there we go. He's down.